Uh, next programs are emergency balls, nailed slopes, anti slide pile, rock stability, and finite element methods also. So what is what about introduction uh, introduction? This programs? You want to analyze this off slope, you want to use circular or polygonal slip surface. Of course you can make optimization of slip surface, you can make seismic loads and of course reinforcement if you want to increase a safety factor of stability or usage of slope. So now I would like to show you how easy and how fast it's possible to analyze slope in our program. So we just open slope stability program. And of course we start with the frame of project when you fill your uh, task information, description of this project. And in frame settings you just uh, choose your verification methodology. Uh, just a verification methodo methodology because of analysis methodology or analysis uh, analysis method is choose <coughs> in the last part and it is in you can choose a circular it depends on circular or polygonal slip surface and methods you can use so first one is interface you can here make your world your cross section it's very easy, just add some some points and you have done your cross-section, you have slope and you can analyze it. Now we must to add uh, soil, so we just really fast to classify it, so we can use some, some result for this situation. Just add and next. Of course, in this you can do some next layers. It's, it's really easy to do this, <coughs> or you can do it right now. Right. So now this is our body, or this is our slope, and it will be analyzed. Now we have soil. Let's go to estimate. Everything is automatically. If you have another one, you just click the right button and you can uh, choose the next soil. So now, first thing is analyze this this slope. Ah, I'm sorry. As you can see, you must input a circular or or polygonal slip surface. Now I would like to. I choose a circle, so I just input it in by three points. First one, last one, and point for diameter. And now we, we can choose a lot of uh, methods for analysis for circular slip surface. So we are often users is Bishop is often for this situation or for these slopes. And now we must to choose uh, if we want to <coughs> get a uh, uh, slope of verification. Uh, I'm sorry. I want to do it in safety factors. So I just choose the safety factors. And now if I want to safety factor for this slip surface, I just click, I just let it analyze this type as standard and just click analyze. And I will get a, a factor of safety for this slip surface. Because it's it's not a great solution or reasonable solution for this situation, and I would like to find a slip surface with the lowest factor of safety. So I just click on optimize optimization, and now I will analyze it. Yeah, so I think now, as you can see, we have a global slip surface. Uh, it could be convert to polygon, of course, but now I want to uh, see how sta how stable or what what safety factor is in this area. I don't want to global stability. I want just in this slope, in this little slope, in this area. 
So now I can uh, set or impel restrictions. I I get these restrictions graphically. Graphically, and now this is borders um, and the slip surface during optimizations can go through this. So now uh, I accept it, I go back. Now I have these borders, these restrictions, and now I have to input graphically again my slip surface here. And now I, I will analyze it. As you can see, our slip surface don't go through these borders, don't go the same as previous, this uh, global, but I, I will get a local a slip surface. And now you, know, you, you can see this is a little bit lowest, lower than for global slip surface stabilization. Now, of course, it is possible for polygon, polygonal uh, slip surface. Number of segments can be five. We can choose method. I can choose Sarma optimization, analyze it, and now we will get a factor of safety or results for this method. So, imagine if you have a um, uh, factor of safety lowest than 1.5. Now it's free, it's okay, but maybe it can be less than 1.5. You must do something like reinforcement. We just, maybe we can uh, do new analyze state and we can uh, reinforcement this slope. For example, we can choose uh, anchors or reinforcements as a geo reinforcement <coughs> or or we can use anti-slide files. So for, uh, in this example, I will use uh, anchors. I will set it graphically. There is location, length, for example, seven meters. Uh, inclination, for example, 15. Uh, distance between each anchor, for example, two and force could be 100 kilonewtons. Now, just analyze it and you will get in your, your factor of safety for this situation or for this local <coughs> slope will increase. We have something around 2.9 and now we have 3.5. And now this is really easy, as you can see, and really fast how to do it. <laughs> um, okay. uh, of course, what's important in any slope stability is, as usually, water. Water uh, can be input to the program several ways. The easiest way is input just ground water table. You can select ground water table, input just one point, and program will add a horizontal ground water table. In all uh, Java 5 programs, the water can be input above the terrain. So here it means that we here we have a water table in soil, and here is some lake or a river or something like that. So you can uh, you can compute any time with uh, water above the terrain. Uh, there is several ways, other ways how to introduce the water. We can calculate rapid drawdown for down. We can input uh, the lines of pore pressure or coefficient U. Then pore pressure is. Uh, 
calculated from the coefficients that are usually measured in a boreholes on the side. So you can see that uh, uh, water has a uh, very high, uh, very high influence on the results. You know, would say uh, more for geotechnical engineer that we can uh, compute uh, s not only slope stability, but it's the same for uh, air pressures for. Sheeting, we can compute in both effective and total parameters. In uh, total parameters, uh, you input uh, uh, properties of soil, including uh, the water, so the pore pressure is not important for analysis because pore pressure is already inputted in soil properties. Here, I would like to tell that uh, uh, when you use Eurocode for slope stability, all uh, countries has uh, in the national annex the use design approach 3. <laughs> the reason is uh, very simple. Uh, if you use the design approach 2 for total parameters by Eurocode, you receive completely nonsenses because the did somewhere a mistake and didn't <coughs> think about that. So never use design approach one or design approach two for soil stability if you use uh, total stress. <coughs> so, but I suppose in all national analysis there is design approach three and it's no problem because you reduce just parameters of soil, so friction and uh, cohesion of the soil. I would say that uh, what's important, it looks uh, nice when you see that we are clicking new layers, like, I would say crazy, that we can input really everything, but uh, with a real life, yes, not so much common because usually you need you can input uh, the cross section or the slope by points but usually you have uh, some results uh, somewhere in AutoCAD or in some uh, I'll say report so we have a way, I would say, good uh, way how to import DXF file to the to the soap stability. That I can show you some ways so you can import any data from AutoCAD from uh, different uh, different programs. Usually, it's. Uh, it brings a lot of problems because uh, sometimes we receive the XF that is about 500 kilometers above the ground level and uh, we have problem to import it or <coughs> people are able to mm, input for example say architectural design, trees and so on to the DXF and again it's uh, difficult to import it. So we have to ways if you have a reasonable DXF and you know what you are doing, you can import it just uh, just to the layers. And you open the XF, you have it, you can, you can do the stability. Here, for example, you <coughs> imported some DXF and you see, okay, but how I can do slope stability here? So you have to change ranges. 
Sorry, I have a problem to input my ass. And you see, you can you can change ranges of the task with, uh, I would say, two inputs and two clicks, mm -hmm. and then you can analyze this uh, software from the itself. If you, if you have a really complicated exercise that you cannot uh, import this way, you can see your DXF in our, our preview. <coughs> You can select just layers that you want to import and uh, then to work with it. You can put you can put it as template and click on the point and etc etc. I want to say that if you have any type of DXF you can download it to the program. We have even one uh, engineering manual that's explaining how to import any type of uh, terrain, any type of, uh, I would say, cross sections or any slope from different, from different softwares to our software. So you don't need to click it. Uh, I would say point by point. Uh, another way how to make um, model of slope is to use our program Terrain. This program serves to model digital model of terrain over the whole, whole site and the best way how to use it if you have a geodetic measurement you can just download points and make digital model of terrain and then you can make a different cross section and send it to slope stability or to other programs and make your analysis You can at first construct some terrain, some changes on terrain, and compute volumes of uh, embankments and volumes of cuts. Or you can simply you can simply make all the model in first stage of construction and then launch other programs. So you can select. For example, some cross section and send it to another program. So, this is, uh, I would say, good, efficient way if you have some mine and if you have a good measurement of all points, you can use this. Because again, to this program, you can download it, all the points in uh, different formats as text, txt files, Excel, and so on. So, what to tell more about soap stability? I suppose that clear program and the best way is if you again try demo version and start to work with it. It's 
very simple and very useful program. I would say that it's I would say best selling program that we have in our portfolio. If you have any question to solve stability, I would love, I would be happy to answer that. I am interested. Is it possible to import from topography with uh, points to this model? If I have topography, yeah. And in DVD, uh, DVD or DXF format, is it possible to import here? Yeah. Mm, to this, you have to input. <coughs> you have to import just points. Ah. So if you are able to <coughs> receive points, you can do that. Mm -hmm. And next question about the methods user. I saw just Sarma and Bishop's methods. How many more methods are? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good question. You know, I opened some data that I can compute. So, you have the possibility to input all methods. So, here is Falenius as a simple Swedish method, Bishop Spencer Hamburg Morgenstern Price. And in fact, it's not uh, true, because if we go to settings, you have a method for methods for uh, circular surface and methods for polygonal surface and you can choose so for Russia we have Shachunyat and for China EFM IDFM I don't remember this shortcut uh, we don't we let you choose what methods you prefer because <coughs> when we are selling for white, to explain someone who was Shachunyans is simply impossible. But in Russia, it's the basic method they use. And they are very happy with that. The same in China with their method. So you can choose which method you want to use. And for example, Yeah, Yamu and Shakunians. And then all your analysis. <coughs> I did it for polygon also, so I sorry. So now you have just only these two methods and you can see the result of the methods that you choose that you have chosen so uh, the answer is that you can choose the method that you want and again I will turn back and tell you what methods we have there so for Poirot it's Sarma, Spencer, Yangu, Mogerstein, Price, Hunians, and the Chinese. And for Circular, Falarius, Bishop, Spencer, Yangu, Mogerstein, Price, Shakunians, and so on. So, I suppose that's more, more methods that it's necessary because you find out that uh, except of Falarius and Bishop, that are uh, another simple methods, all other methods gives practically the same results. Now the, I would say that it's more marketing uh, approach that if we have a difference in 5%, it's, it's a lot. And most differences in geotechnic design are from soil properties and I would say existence or non-existence of water in the profile. So are much more problems in Bikes than from chosen method. Uh, my question. Uh, 
there's a possibility uh, to put stages, as, as I saw on sheet pile, uh, for dump construction. Yeah. Filling reservoir, etc. Yeah, you can, you, can, you can do construction stages. Ah, okay. You can do construction stages. The only difference is that uh, here are the construction stages independent. So the result of second uh, of a slope of stability in second stage doesn't depend on the first stage. Uh, but you can do any, any number of construction stages here. <coughs>